Hey guys, I'm here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm doing something different different. I'm teaching you how to build something I came up with. I don't know if I'm the first one to come up with this, but I noticed it and yeah, it's still pretty cool. So if I'm not the first one, just don't go saying, Hey dude, you covered blah 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 because I didn't. I just came up with this and yeah. So yeah, anyway guys, uh, that's where I'll be teaching teaching you a hover lock, a really compact hover lock. So yeah, let's see how it works. So yeah, you have your temple there, and you wanted to store your um, most valued items, So, and you didn't want anyone to know where they were. So you just come in your temple and simply uh, uh, drop a dirt, uh, whatever block you can, and... A secret door opens and then closes right behind you and then yay you got your items yay so yeah guys let me first explain something to you um, this does work for any item like look I just dropped a golden apple and it worked now let's just drop emeralds and yeah as you can see it'll work um, yeah you can't drop it that fast though but yeah you just drop it and then boom so yeah, uh, I'm gonna explain how this works. And by the way, guys, uh, I'm just gonna explain how it works uh, without the timer. Like the timer, this is optional. It just in the output, I just put a timer here that goes back to the input of the T flip flop, which which made it trigger twice. That may and that makes it close right behind you when you step in. Like be the right timing right when you step in. So. Okay, how this works is this this design is seven uh three by seven, six by four and six by four. I prefer this one because it's much more compact, but still, um if you don't have that much space forward, you can always build this one that ha that is built to the right, which has two outputs, and this one to the left which has two outputs. But yeah, this one's the best one because it's the smallest most compact one and it has the most output. So yeah, I would love uh, yeah this one's the best to build so yeah anyway let me explain how this works so here as you can see here's a block where you drop stuff and it sucks it in so when you put a minecart below a block it sucks it in uh, everything that falls in this block and yeah when you do that the this minecart sucks it in it goes into this hopper which passes it on to this uh, dropper which then um, enables this comparator which powers this uh, which finally ends up power this block which makes the dropper drop the item it had so what this uh, look I'll just show you real fast yeah okay here it goes boom so yeah what this means is that this uh, this system um, cannot be overflowed because every item you put in will be lost like expelled or uh, expulsed or whatever you want to call it so yeah sim simu simultaneously that well at the same time while this is happening uh well a bit before while this before a bit before this happens uh this comparator enables when an, the item you dropped up here passes through here which enables this t flip flop which ends up uh, enabling the um powering the outputs so yeah, which, uh, yeah. So the T flip flop basically this comparator powers this three droppers. So yeah, first this dropper's going up, and then as this thing powers this, this goes up, and before it powers this is uh, this dropper drops it right here, and then it don't power. So the atom ends up here. So yeah, let's just show you this real fast. Boom, and as you can see, the outputs are done, and the block just fell. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, the outputs are out, and there's a uh, the redstone here. And yeah, if I put another item in, oh, the redstone will come here, and the outputs will be empowered. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So yeah, let's let's yeah, so let's go into it, guys. I'll gather the um needed materials for this build and let's go into building this this one okay okay guys we'll be right back stay tuned 
Okay guys, I am back, and as you can see, I've gathered all the needed materials. S materials. So yeah. So first, what you want to do is build a square with one block up. You can either, like, yeah. You can either delete this block or place it. It really doesn't matter. So yeah. Um, after that, you just put a comparator to in going into this block, then redstone and a repeater going into a block over here right and then over there you put a dropper and this completes the uh, outer dropper um the um on the dropper yeah it basically does this dropper to not overflow and just drop everything it receives so yeah after that you put a hopper on top of that and you put um a rail on top of that and then you put two slabs or blocks whatever you want to do I, I'll just do slabs beside that and you put your floor above it and then after you have your floor above above it you put your minecart with hopper inside note that this won't work if you put the minecart with hopper first and then your um your block because it won't let you place it because of this hopper sit box um, I think yeah look at that it's going up so yeah it won't work you need to first get this there and then put the minecart hopper in there so yeah that's basically it you can also remove this blocks but yeah I don't think you'll have a one by one uh, uh, floor in minecraft so yeah now next to the T flip flop you can either put um, comparator down here getting the signal from this dispenser or you can put it up here it really doesn't matter unless you don't have that much much space above it'll all be below this floor so don't worry but yeah in most cases you'll you you'll it'll be okay of you putting it up here but if you can't you just put it down there <laughs> so then you put a hopper looking up this yeah this comparator should be at the same level as this hopper yeah and then you put a another dropper looking out towards you and after that you just put a dropper looking into this one that's looking up and at the end you just put a hopper on top so yeah and after that to get your outputs you can do this okay here we go and you forcibly have to put um comparators there because they just get when whenever an, an item is here a competitor just triggers and you put an item there yeah one not n whatever item but it has to be one not 64 just one okay so yeah for your output you could either um do this which is the most classic one because if you put if you try and do this like with only redstone this redstone will not be powered because it will only be receiving one item so uh, it will only be outputting one signal so you can either do this um, like this or like this or um, like uh, like okay wait like this or like um, red torch or like this so all of these outputs work and yeah yeah you can put a uh, torch wherever you want so yeah let's just so yeah and so you can see the output will work there it's all outputting all the signals and yeah what I was telling you guys is that look redstone let's just get it all over here Look, if I put, if I try and put two there, this one will not be powered. No, no steam is coming out, and it will not be powered. But if you do this, it will be powered because this one's powered in this one. So yeah, guys. Anyway, guys. Um, as the sun sets, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, by the way, this the download to this map will be in the description. So if you want to check out what I did down here, and all of this, uh, you you're welcome to. So anyway, guys, as the sun sets, hope you guys enjoy this video. I am Emp, and I'm out. See ya, dudes.